How are we doing, folks? Just wanted to do kind of a follow-up to the tool video I did last, and I want to mention two, I would say, just absolute must-have tools for any beginner getting into any type of sheetrock drywall project at all. This thing and this, I don't know. I, I guess if you had just a small little project to do, you know, it wouldn't be too bad. But having these two things easily saved me hours and lots and lots of money. Uh, just being able to make good cuts for notching out for whether it be outlets, uh, switches, you know, around some trim, whatever, doorways, those types of weird things. Being able to do that with these two tools and not either screw up a sheet um, or I guess even screw up just a cut and having to recut, um, just so much time saved, it's unreal. So uh, what we got here though is this guy found it off of a couple, I think it was last year, Home Depot site. You know, I was kind of like skeptical of this thing thinking, uh, you know, I guess even if it saves me, you know, from screwing up one sheet of drywall, it'll pay for itself, right? And easily did. Um, not having to take measurements and all that goofy crap, you know, this thing is just awesome. So how that thing works is it's got in here a couple, it's got th this kit, I'm sure there's other ones available, but this guy's got three of these little guys here, so you could put it in a um, basically single gang up to a, obviously triple gang, um, either an outlet or a switch plate, but uh, box. But anyway, so you got those and you'll put those in there. And then this guy's super magnetic. I mean, and so what you do is you put those into your box and then you'll put your whether it be even a sheet of osb or cdx or drywall i mean this magnet will pr suck through all that so you'll feel around through there until boom it latches on and then you'll run your pencil around your piece whatever that is you know um and what i would do is i would come down with this magnet and come down, let it flop, flop onto there and lock in, then trace around it, then take it off and slide it up, and lock on, trace around it, come from the left, do the same thing, come from the right and do the same thing. And then after that, you have pretty much a really good average of lines traced around this thing. So even if you don't get her quite on there just right, um, you know, you're gonna be fine no matter what, really, because you're this thing just the size of this. You're gonna overcut it just enough, but it keeps it really, really tight on those tolerances around whatever material you're cutting out. So, anyways, once you do that, this thing just saves so much time, unreal. So, this to me, anybody who's doing any type of drywall stuff, you know, um, you gotta have one of these. Uh, I just don't. I think it's just you can't put a price on how. This thing, I don't think this thing was like more than like 30 bucks or so. And easily the amount of time this thing saves you. Uh, and once again, the chance of not screwing up a piece of material and having to go to a store, get some more, what have you. The frustrations if you got a bunch of cuts and a bunch of outlets and, you know, a big like 4 by 12 sheet, you know. And it's just, you screw up one, then next thing you know, you got to redo everything if it's pretty bad at least. And anyways, so... This thing, I highly recommend it. Like I said, the magnets are strong enough that it will, um, it'll cut through, um, uh, or that this magnet piece will sit onto there through a uh, three quarter inch uh, CDX. Uh, so it's just freaking awesome. But yeah, so would not do a, a sheetrock project or anything where you need to do cutouts um, without that guy. Now this is just a cutout tool from Makita. And this thing too, most valuable tool of the entire project from when I did the upstairs in here um, that I bought by far. So basically what we got here is simple cutout tool. It's, it's corded, right? You know, you can get a cordless or corded. I just like the corded ones for these because, uh, you know, I'm not using it every single day, but I did probably put, if I had to conservatively guess, I probably put about 
10, maybe 10 hours or maybe uh, eight to 10 hours worth of time on this, on this tool doing everything upstairs. And I was cutting everything out with this. I mean, I cut some, trim some plastic stuff out with it. It's, you know, it's almost like a Dremel tool in a way, except for a little bit higher uh, RPM, a little bit more torque, it's corded, right? A little more weight to it. Um, but I mean, I've cut out some plastics with this thing. I've cut out the, obviously drywall, sheetrock, um, and as well as a lot of um, thick CDX. Um, so, everything from and the other thing that's nice about this is it comes with this this piece here it comes with a dust suction adapter never did use that even though when you're cutting cutting anything with this it does create a good amount of dust so i just always just tried to have the shot vac right next to me as it's cutting this because you can run this one-handed pretty successfully um, especially if it's a softer material that you're cutting it's not going to be pulling around on you too bad i mean you get a good firm grip on this thing and you can control it nice. Um, just let it, you know, take its time and cut through. You're not going to force it. It's nothing that cuts super fast necessarily, depending on the material, but it works great. You can set your depth in this thing by adjusting this up and down here. Um, and as far as this tool, I mean, this thing was a killer addition. Um, this will let you do up to, I want to say it's a 13 uh 13 or so diameter looks like 14 14 inch diameter circle so if you have you know if even if you need to do like a say for like a toilet bowl flange or something like you need to cut whatever four five six inch diameter circle and something you don't want to be going and buying a hole saw or a couple different hole saws for things right you get this guy this guy clips right into this on this back side with this wing nut and then you know you can just basically hold this pin it's got a real sharp pin right there you're going to hold that in the on your center point and then your tool just goes around that point and cuts that diameter so this thing is freaking awesome like i said i mean i cut a lot of big diameter holes with this for various things and it's just killer you know you can't beat it for the price of this tool this whole kit you can't go out and buy, a, say, a six-inch and a five-inch hole saw. Um, maybe, well, maybe probably four, five, and six hole saw for the same price, without a doubt. And then you just get the other benefits of having this thing. Um, I totally would recommend the corded model, but like I said, some if cordless would probably run just fine. But I just went with this guy because I knew I wasn't going to be anywhere that I was without power and having to mess with the batteries and something I'm not using a ton probably after projects. But I found lots of uses for this thing. Um, fine detail cuts, uh, you know, stuff where you can't necessarily get in there with a saw. Just uh, this thing is super, super handy and I can't, uh, I guess, rant and rave about it more. So highly recommend these so what what uh model is that there it is a 3706k and uh i guess this thing has any type of part number to it here but uh doesn't look like it i'm sure it does but i don't know if that's it but uh what is that an 8 10 5 b x dash e a uh yeah so bees knees need to have both of these if you're doing anything more than a couple sheets of rock and you're having to do you know multiple outlet cutouts and things like that so uh i guess i'll leave it with that and i'll catch up with you guys later here in the next uh week i think i'm going to start a series maybe one a week some uh power stroke type videos talking about longevity uh my ownership experience with this since 2007 and uh really what all i've had to do to it and then performance modifications issues i mean the whole nine yards i think i'm just going to go through it all and uh so if you guys uh, are interested in any of that start tuning in and checking out for any future videos of that nature and i'll talk to you soon